Hey guys, it's Fiery. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I bought you all of my old sketchbooks and um, we are going to go through them. They're uh, a bit cringy. I, I want to put out a disclaimer that I will cringe myself sometimes and also just so I present you my sketchbook skills. All of these sketchbooks are unfinished. I never in my life was able to finish any sketchbooks, so some of them have like 98% finished and some have like 10 and it's not so much. Mm, I've seen other artists uh, sketchbook tours and uh, this is not an impressive amount of drawings. I don't know what I was doing back then, but um, I guess I was not drawing in my sketchbooks. Um, you will see that this one is like the latest one and it's from this brand Lustrum. Okay, I will not say it, not try to say it, but this is like an expensive brand and a lot of artists use it. And because of this, I was so scared to use it that I never really used it. So yeah, shittier sketchbooks are the best. And um, hopefully my newest one will be finished uh, 10 years later. So let's get started. <laughs> I probably have this sketchbook from high school. I'm not really sure, but uh, this was the time when I started using watercolors. Uh, none of the sketchbook have uh, dates, which is quite unfortunate because uh, I cannot really say when I did them. So, so yeah, let's look around. <laughs> nice line art. Um, I, back then I used to use pencil as my main medium. I never really had good pants back then because in Hungary you could not buy them anywhere. There were no, not really any art stores anywhere and uh, I had to use like basic stationery which were really not nice. So all of like these art, art shops were basically like um, hobby shops for beginners or just moms who wants to crochet this was a nice um, character design i tried to do like some sort of alice in wonderland type of design <sighs> he oh, owns the night sky <laughs> i think back then i did not have any good watercolor so this was made with this basic high school grade watercolor set which I think is quite impressive because they are not really good mm. I also got some from my grandma and they were a bit better quality I think back in the day they were making higher quality products than nowadays so even like a normal watercolor used to be way more pigmented I used to have this bag um, I'm not sure if this was high school because history, this can be bio when I was studying biology because I always put things from my life inside my drawing. I really liked this one. Um, I think like the colors here turned out quite nice. And also how I like, still like how I draw this whole concept. This one I was really proud about. I still love it. It's so cute. I don't know how I did it. I think I made this without any reference. I'm not exactly sure it was way back, but uh, this one is still so cute. Um, um, is this supposed to be me? I'm not sure it's possible. Um, quite nice. Um, I don't like this. It's cringy. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Okay, I still like this. It's kind of 
Elsa inspired, I think. The way how her hair and her facial structure is drawn. I like this. Sometimes I was able to draw good things, <laughs> other times I was not really. This one I like. It's cute. Mm, I think I bought here some inks and these are made with equiline ink, inks, I'm not sure. Okay. I was really, <laughs> really proud about this one. This still looks really nice. Some Hermione Granger painting. This is cute. I like how I did the line art and this part looks quite interesting. Some plants. These are cute. I don't know, these colors look really nice. I'm not sure what I used here. This, this is watercolor, but uh, I don't know which palette I used. That's nice. Mm. Ferret. Uh, this is like the character design I was talking about. I'm always trying to start comics and then never <laughs> getting to it at the end or I can never finish or make anything decent. But I'm so obsessed with webcomics and comics. I always thinking about making some someday. So yeah, this was like Second Life something Alice in Wonderland themed and now it ends here <laughs> oh some dark and watching you <laughs> oh, all right I like the color this interesting little comics this is is this Lorian my character I'm not sure Probably it was around mermaid and um, and I was trying to do some mermaids. This I'm not sure who that is. Ooh, <laughs> some anime stuff. Uh, that's that. This is all about it. Okay, next one. I don't have stickers on the outside. I don't know why because. Uh, Okay, I didn't have stickers from artists back in the day, but uh, but now I have, so maybe I could put some nice stickers on it. Uh, all these pencil drawings got kind of smudged. Hmm. I was practicing to draw female characters. It's a long way to draw to get to the point where you like your characters. Some anatomy poses. This is nice. I like this one. I can say just by looking at them, this is like a really shitty marker, I think. So I did not have good art supply and it's such a thing that if you have good art supply, you can draw better. It's a fact. I don't know if you know it or not, but every time when I get some really nice art supply, I can just my style is like poop, improves so fast. Probably it was really hard to manage this marker. I can just look at the lines and see that they are thick at parts where they should not be thick. Oh, this one. Not sure if you can see it. This is a drawing of one of our rabbits and he ate here and they are not with us anymore so it's this really sweet memory Ooh, some blood chronos this page looks nice but if i look at close all of the drawings not really impressive <laughs> this looks nice but who has this anatomic proportions This is definitely with the echo line. So beautiful, the color. Not not the drawing, certainly, but like this color and so vibrant, so pigmented. Oh, I'm still upset. I should try to use it sometime. The colors are really nice here. 
And these like silver dots. I'm not sure where I got them. I use it. I do this many times where I just draw something on a tiny paper like these things. I cannot throw these away and uh, I just doodle on them and then I stick them in my uh, sketchbooks. It's okay, not something. Oh, I, I like this one. This is some raven drawing I have here. This is still really good. Uh, some words about what I like to draw. This thing. It's good and not so good at the same time. There's some sparkly, maybe nail polish or something on it. Ooh! Oh. <laughs> okay, um, this was the time when I changed my name to Fiery. <laughs> Don't... Okay, it's kind of cringy. I, I wanted a name where I could... Uh, what I could use everywhere. And uh, I came up with this word fiery. It does not really mean anything, but it means a lot of things at the same time. Oh, and the pro what I still need to be like a good artist. Um, let's see, my own style, better handwriting, my color palette, to collect all the things that I love to draw, favorite techniques, and le learn to speak English. I guess that's kind of... I know how to speak English a little bit more now. Yeah, some aerial drawing. I remember I was on vacation this time when I draw that one. This is cool. It's kind of the Tumblr 2010 aesthetic. I love this. I used to love this and I, these two, I still love them. I don't know, they're interesting. Some elf drawing. This is Starfire. Is her name Starfire? Not sure. And some raven here. Oh, okay. I have like these small things. Let's go over them. A cool guy. A druid. Nothing. An orange. Oh, I used to love drawing like this witchy hands. A little plant sketchbook. This is cool. It's like a sticker. Oh, this is cool too. Okay, I think I like these small things better than most of the drawings in my sketchbook. Some hats. Oh, yeah, this I love it so much still. This looks still really, really nice. This is probably still my <laughs> art level. I don't know. didn't get much better. Okay. Po Pocket Galaxy. Can you see that? Is it blurry or not? Okay, so. Oh yeah, I like these pages so much. So I was, every time when I'm doodling and in, not in my sketchbook, they, the drawings get way better. So this was the case, I was just doodling on like a Norman A4 paper and there I like, I really like this one. This one is really nice and this one too, I love it. Some dry plants. This is thyme, Timin. I like this. Some chaotic doodly pages. And then, not finished. <laughs> Next up, this one. This is probably from university. So when I was, it was 2016, 17 around. You can see I got way better with uh, line arts. I was really focusing on line arts back there. It was my favorite thing to do. This is nice. Yeah, and I got my first Copic markers, but they bleed through and I really don't like that. 
This is from university when I was learning anatomy. It's cool, it looks cool. Always drawing eyes. I think this is uh, the Winsor and Newton Windsor and Newton watercolor set. What I got? It's nice. Something <laughs> removed <laughs> from existence. Oh, this still looks really cool. I was really into these extremely fine line arts. I had like the Micron 0 0.00 Infinity pens. Inktober 2016. I I think Inktober, mm, I always failed with just like, I was able to do like probably five days and then just quit. I think I have this digitally colored, I'm not sure. This is nice. Some little prints. Oh, it's like the bleed through. This is what I don't like because Copics have really nice colors. For example, here it was not, this is not a smooth application. I don't like how the marker looks here. It's quite tedious to use. Copic markers, but back in the day they were so big, everyone was using them. Some Marcel. Starting to draw guys. Mm. Yep. I hate this. This is you can see by that I have like this co really limited color palette and that's only because <laughs> I didn't have more Copic markers <laughs> I all the time I went to the shop I would just buy one or two more because it was just too much I didn't have like the budget for it these i don't know how i did these flowers but these look really nice those were made with copics of watercolor i'm not sure but oh my god i love those i would i love to do the same effect again here back with this really fine line art this is kyra my first uh, original character some witchy drawings Kyra this is cool yeah but bleed through this is cute here I was trying to do like a you know, when you are going to find the colors first and then do the finished drawing. But this one is way better than this. It's with these dynamic lines and cute proportions. I like this really much. And yeah, not finished. Some of from some people from uh, university sketched it there. Okay, we're we're down to the last one. This will be really quick because <laughs> I was never really able to draw in this because it was too intimidating. All right. So back to the really fine liners. These are like really detailed drawings. And this at this time I used to do digital um, digital coloring so I will include I think somewhere here the finished drawings this was a really nice time I I like how these turned out they're so nice I have many of this style this here is probably my most famous drawing you cannot really tell by this 
that I will include somewhere to finish drawing and this got so huge on Tumblr and uh, um, back in the day I had like store envy and some other tiny art shop and I used to sell the most from this drawing. I was so thrilled by that. This is also huge on Tumblr. It's People are still reblogging it. Um, yeah, I will try try to include the finished drawings because I think all of these have, yeah, all of these have a colored version somewhere. I posted them online. I never posted this anywhere, but I think this is one of the coolest things, like this Windows Windows ninety seven or I'm not sure aesthetic. I wanted to color this so much and I never finished it but I st I'm still obsessed with this one I would actually finish it now maybe Kyra this is a way better drawing of her what you can see is she have water as her hair which I think is a really cool detail some Halloween draw drawings some vampires, the raven and beast boy. I was really obsessed with the old teen titans. Yes, you can see here that this this was actually a quite an expensive book, but it just cannot hold water at all. It got so wrinkly. <clears throat> so I, I'm not sure why people are obsessed with this uh, sketchbook because it bleeds through it has like it's, it has a thick paper but it's not that high quality it bleeds, bleeds through and you cannot even use water on it some marceline i don't like this at all oh, i love how i used to draw the hair but probably it took me a, a lifetime to finish but this this is so nice. I'm not. I think I've never posted this one. I'm not sure. Morning coffee. This is kind of the same as my uh, really popular one, and um, yeah, it looks like that's about it. So <laughs> empty. Oh yeah, I will show these ones. Totally empty and I will never never finish it. Okay. This and some some printouts and some watercolor paintings. This looks nice. I used to paint so much on just paper like this. Let's see. Mm. It's cute. And most of these are just printouts of my digital art. I guess I will just show it to you, but these are probably way later. Oh, this is like on a glossy paper. It's Canon glossy paper. This is on a luster paper. I love this quality. This is Jay, my original color character. <sighs> love this drawing. This is the famous picture, what I used to sell. I'm not sure if the camera can pick up the details very well. This is from Sushi, Just it was not mine art, it, I ordered it. Luster paper. Really nice quality. This is also Jay. I used to have them on my wall. This was also a really famous picture on um, on Instagram, I think, or or, or or on Tumblr, or maybe on Pinterest. This got viral and people started reposting it. It's a uh, Luna and Ginny on like a witch festival. Some 
things here. Hisoka. And this is probably a latest one, but still way years back. So yeah. <clears throat> that was all. It I have to cut this video because it maybe took a little too long to film. Alright, so I hope you liked it and um, probably I will do more sketchbook tours because I have some new sketchbooks that I'm still working on and those will be way nicer. These are really just the start of my art career and um, everyone has to start somewhere and um, this was mine. So. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a, a like, subscribe to this channel and see you in my next video. Bye bye!